Good evening, I'm Shimi Keneally. The Bloomington Chamber of Commerce says it will officially oppose the City of Bloomington's plan to install parking meters downtown. A statement from the Chamber of Commerce says metered parking could potentially compound parking challenges and create unintended consequences that may possibly have a negative impact on businesses and downtown as a whole. A survey of the Chamber's more than 800 members about adding parking meters produced about 400 results, which were mostly negative. The parking plan is slated to be presented to the Bloomington City Council at its Wednesday meeting. An historic building on the Owen County Courthouse Square will soon be open to the public nearly a year after a renovation began. WTIU's Rachel Hartog has the story. The Tivoli Theater in downtown Spencer is starting to look more familiar to citizens who remember its heyday. After Cook Group agreed to fund the restoration project last April, construction efforts became focused on restoring the building to look like it did when it opened on New Year's Eve in 1928, including reinstalling the building's original marquee. Owen County Preservation's president, Deb Jordan, hopes the theater will serve multiple purposes for the community once its renovation is completed. It is a pretty amazing uh, pinch me, I'm dreaming, I'm going to have a chance to meet all my community. We're all going to have a wonderful time together. We'll see the greatest of, of the movies and we'll relive uh, so many moments together. It, it is a dream, a dream come true. The theater's restoration is set to be complete April 1st. For WTIU News, I'm Rachel Hartog. Lawmakers are considering legislation that would place stricter limits on how much ephedrine and pseudoephedrine, the two key ingredients used in methamphetamine production, is bought and sold in the state. Under current law, people are only allowed to purchase about 7 grams per month. Legislation proposed would cap sales at 72 grams per year, essentially allowing Hoosiers to buy 10 months' worth of the drugs in a single year. A Senate committee postponed a vote vote on the bill Tuesday to allow further changes to be made. Let's take a look at your weather. Tonight, partly cloudy, lows in single digits around 9 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with scattered flurries, highs about 30. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy, lows around 13. On Thursday, mostly cloudy, a 60% chance of snow, highs in the mid-20s.